Today is March 25th. Today's quote is entitled, Willing to be little. A great man is always willing to be little. This is the sign of his greatness. I love that. Because of the material concept, you know, greatness is power, external power, and conquering people, and having control, and rising to the top, and being better. And so here, we see, and we know this, that if somebody can be humble, if somebody can be small, if somebody can give credit where credit's due, or someone can facilitate others to get the credit, that's the greatest. That's the greatest person. So we shouldn't look at humility ever, ever as a weakness or as something that if we have, we think people will take advantage of. But humility can only be developed by those who are powerful because it takes tremendous power to deflate the false ego to the point of humility, doesn't it? I sometimes joke that we... In spiritual circles, we need an ego deflating machine. We can put you up to it. And... But that's really what's being described here. You're willing to be little. But that's, that's, you know, you don't, you don't have to be in the center. You don't have to get the glory. You can just be in the background doing your service and you don't care that anyone recognizes you. That's Krishna consciousness. Happy small happy little, uh, what do we say here? Willing to be little, willing, willing to do something where others get the credit. There was one president of the United States, he said, if you're willing to give others the credit, practically you can do anything. And if you have someone on your team who wants to take all the credit and control, it's probably going to create a lot of problems, and you're not really going to be that successful. So you get a group of people together who are all willing to be little, willing to give credit to others. It's a perfect, perfect situation for spreading Krishna consciousness. So that's, you. I think we said a few days ago, humility is really a relationship tool. It's a, it's a teamwork tool. Now, something very interesting just, I just came across when I was in Mayapur that they're having a management class. And in the management class, they got the latest information from Harvard Business School about the fundamentally most important quality of a leader. And you know what they said? The most important quality of a leader? This is Harvard Business School. We're talking about leader of a corporation, big, big, a leader of a big company. They said humility was the number one quality. Isn't that amazing that they're realizing this? That someone who's humble, he's the best person to work with everybody because you can talk to him. He can listen. He's open. He's empathetic, sympathetic, compassionate. Wonderful. So be willing to be little. That's your strength. Be willing to give others the glory. Be willing to let others surpass you. That's your strength. That's your glory.